Another thing that changes each year is the federal tax tables. And so if I go to the Fed on here, um, it has a personal exemption and then the tax table. So you get credit for the number of exemptions you have. It always goes up by about $50 a year. Last year it was $3,650. The year before that it was $3,600 per exemption credit, whether you're married or single. And then there's the tables. And these are different tax brackets. Notice that for the federal married, if you're in the $75,000 range, you're in the 15% tax bracket. People ask me all the time, are the tables going up or down? The answer is yes, they're going up and they're going down. You're getting more credit for each exemption, but depending on what tax bracket you're in, they can go up or down. Notice that you've got to be making at least uh, over 75000 to hit the 25% tax bracket for married. That's different for single. For single, you're in the 15% tax bracket if you're only making 36000 you hit the 25% tax bracket by the time you get to 66, and you get into the 28%. So it depends on your status and where you're at as to where you'll be. Uh, so I can't tell you if you go up or down. It's in the tables. Let's look at Utah. Most of us are here are in a Utah company. We have all the states here. Utah made a major change in 2007. You'll notice my last code update is 22808 up here. And that's because in the year, they gave a, a year-end update that incorporated changes. Well, Utah got those out kind of late. Not only did they get them out late, we had to wait for an update in January. Then they were wrong. They weren't working correct in the real world, and they published another one at the end of January. Great Plains revised that on 22808. And ever since the 22808 tax update for the code, we've had a place to put in these new tax tables. Every year we have this issue. We have a tax update and we have a year-end update. And the year-end update is just the tax table. But, the, I'm sorry, the other way around. The tax update is just tables. It's just what you saw in there a moment ago. It's 3650 $3, for exemption, and the tables with all the brackets. But the year end has a code update. And I want to address this now as we go through it later. It will make more sense. The code update is what you see down here, the 22808. The tax update is the 22309. I ran a tax date update on mine yesterday. And I went from round six to round nine. There have been nine tax updates this year. Every time a state changes something, there's another one. California changed something last month, so they had to write in the new information and it slipped in. Most of the time, the tax updates fit right into what Great Plains has available in their table structure. But once in a while, they have to update the code to allow new things. And here's what they did for Utah. Whether you are married or single, it's a 5% flat, married or single. But if you go to the tables, there are no tables, perhaps, it, it, in relation to what we have in the federal. We don't have tax brackets. What we do have is personal exemptions. We get a $125 credit on wages over 250 if we're single. And we get an additional special exemption of 1.3% on wages in excess of 12000 That's what wasn't available prior to 2007, and that's why they had to do a code update. Once in a while, there's a code update for another state. If you're not just in Utah and you're in other states, you need to load the year-end update to be sure that you've got room for all the code changes when they load in their tax tables. We have not had to do this except for at the beginning of last year. If you've had the latest code update from last year, then you're okay. We got some new folks watching in. Be sure they get the information that's there. Thanks. Pass that around. Welcome. I'll show you uh, the other, the Mary for Utah. 
it's still 5% out here, but in the tables we have a personal exemption, and it's $375 there, and we have a special of over $18,000, not $12,000. Now, I don't know if Utah is changing it this year. There's nothing published yet. There's no circular 14. If Utah does what it's done historically, there will be no change. They only changed it when they went from the table structure to the 10-point formula, which included these two exemption credits and the flat 5% rate. So I don't expect any change. Let's go into our documentation. I'm going to flip over to page two and show you a little table I created. In general, we expect changes, but we're not expecting the flat to change this year. Now, we'll know for sure when it comes up live, but that's what our prediction is. Um, states, we don't know what they're going to do, but we're not expecting the change. On the federal limit, 0.8%. And on Utah unemployment, um, they always have a limit on that, and we won't know that until sometime later this next month or early in 2010. They don't usually give that out this early. Um, but it usually goes up, it was 26.7, it went to 27.8, so maybe it'll be 28.9, I don't know. It'll keep moving um, as cost of living goes up, they have more of those. But you don't have to file SUDA until the end of the first quarter, so it's not really an issue. It is an issue in that you approve SUDA wages and taxes, um, so by the end of January, they better have that out and they should, you'll get a letter from the state of Utah telling you what your rate is and what your limit is. And you'll be able to go in, and we'll show you how you do those a little bit later. So those are some preliminaries. Well, here's the main information. There are no form changes this year. If I go to look at the W-2 format, this will be in the information that you'll be able to get from Great Plains, so I'm not printing this out for you. Here's the W-2 data source. It will be attached to the um, download that you'll be able to get from Great Plains. Here's the download, and this is the W-2 data source. We'll also be looking at their year-end update document. So you have this link in the document I've given you. You'll be able to go to customer source and pull it up. If you're not set up at the customer source website for Great Plains, Give us 15 minutes, we'll get you connected. But you, this is more than any other time important that you be able to access the Great Plains website. So here's what the W-2 looks like. Two years ago, they made a form change. They took the Social Security number, which used to be down here, and moved it up to the top. They swapped the Social Security number and the control number. The control number is your employee ID number in Great Plains. It doesn't even print on there anymore unless we force it to. It's not a required field. We want it there, we can make it happen. Last year, no, two years ago, when they changed this, they also had two formats. They had box 12 vertically stacked over here, or they had box 12 horizontally over here. And then they put these buttons over on the side. So we had two different forms we could order. As far as I know, it's all standardized, it's all the same. This is a great document. It tells you what goes in each box. And when we get to box 10, it's dependent care benefits like it's always been. Box 12 has all the codes. A is the 401k. B is another. C and D. D is the 401, sorry, D is the 401k. E is the 403b. Uh, one that we see more and more of, code AA. That's a Roth plan. It's a Roth 401k. It's not tax sheltered but it's a 401k as opposed to the traditional 401k plans which are sheltered from federal and state, not Social Security and Medicare. Um, we have check boxes. Regardless of what retirement plan you're on, you should be in box 13. And there is documentation which we'll see on the Great Plains doc as to when you need to have checked off that box. If you're not active on your 401k plan, you probably don't have to check the box. And so we'll be looking at that. Box 14 is where everything else goes in. And there's lots of other things here. So if you have any questions about your individual setups, your deductions and benefits, 
where they need to show up, HSA plans, um, something to follow up with later, not something I can cover today. We've got a lot to look at.